Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about cyclic vomiting syndrome. Cyclic vomiting syndrome presents with intermittent episodes of prolonged nausea and vomiting with periods of health in between. It can occur at any age but is diagnosed most frequently in preschool to school age children. It is thought to be a migraine variant. Many patients have a positive family history of migraines and some with cyclic vomiting syndrome will eventually develop migraine headaches. Now triggers to an episode of cyclic vomiting syndrome often include viral illnesses, lack of sleep, physical exhaustion, stressful or exciting events such as holidays, birthdays and vacations. Now the diagnostic criteria for the cyclic vomiting syndrome. It must include all of the following. Number one, two or more periods of intense nausea and unremitting vomiting or raging lasting hours to days. Number two, return to usual state of health lasting weeks to months. Now the clinical manifestations. Episodes can start at any time but will often start in the early morning hours. Episodes are similar to each other in timing and duration. Now, repetitive vomiting can last hours to days. Patient can also have abdominal pain, diarrhea and headaches. Those affected are typically pale, listless and prefer to be left alone. They may have photophobia or phonophobia. Now, there are no specific tests for the cyclic vomiting syndrome and diagnosis is based on the history and exclusion of other disorders. So differential diagnosis that should be considered include male rotation with intermittent valvulus, ureteropelvic junction obstruction, eosinophilic esophagitis, intracranial mass lesion, and metabolic disorders. Now the treatment of cyclic vomiting syndrome. For the acute episode, supportive treatment include hydration, dark quiet environment, and antimatics such as ondansetron. In addition, abortive therapy using anti-migraine medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and triptans can also be used. Now, for those with frequent or prolonged episodes, prophylactic therapy can also be used such as ciproheptadine, tricyclic antidepressant, beta blockers or to pyramid okay friends thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative health videos